Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. I have traveled to many different times and places, but my journey to 2049 was definitely one of the most memorable and hilarious trips I have ever taken. It was a hot summer day in 2049, and I was on a mission to find the funniest moment in history. I had heard that the year 2049 was filled with laughter and joy, so I decided to take a trip to see for myself. As I arrived in the city of New York, I was immediately struck by the changes that had taken place in just a few short centuries. The city was towering and bustling with activity, and there was a sense of excitement in the air. But, the first thing that caught my eye was a man walking down the street with a parrot on his shoulder, and the parrot was wearing a tiny hat. I couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of the situation. I decided to start my journey by visiting a comedy club, where I was told that some of the best jokes in history were made. The club was packed, and the atmosphere was electric. As I took my seat, I was greeted by a comedian who was well known in 2049 for his hilarious jokes. He took the stage and began to tell his jokes, and I was immediately taken aback by the humor. I had never heard anything like it before. The jokes were so absurd and silly, but at the same time, they were incredibly funny. I found myself laughing so hard that I was nearly in tears. One of my favorite jokes from the night went like this, why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. After the show, I decided to explore the city a bit more. I walked down the bustling streets and took in all the sights and sounds. Everywhere I turned, there was something that made me laugh. From the silly advertisements to the strange fashion choices, there was never a dull moment. I even saw a man wearing a shirt that said, I'm with stupid, and he was pointing at himself. I couldn't stop laughing at the irony of the situation. As I walked through the city, I stumbled upon a street performer who was making balloon animals. He was so skilled that he could create the most intricate and detailed sculptures, all while making silly faces and telling jokes. I was in awe of his talent, and I couldn't help but laugh at his antics. He made me a balloon giraffe, and I couldn't stop giggling at how silly it looked. Next, I decided to take a trip to a local amusement park. The rides were unlike anything I had ever seen before. There were roller coasters that looped and twisted in the air, and there were water rides that splashed and soaked you from head to toe. But the real excitement for me was the food stalls. I tried a food on a stick that was a combination of everything you could imagine. Pizza, ice cream, and even a hamburger. I couldn't stop laughing at the absurdity of it all. But the highlight of the park was definitely the clown show. The clowns were so silly and entertaining that I couldn't stop laughing. They performed all sorts of antics, from juggling to magic tricks, and they even had a pie-throwing contest. I had never seen anything like it before. The best part of the show was when the clowns started a food fight with pies, and I couldn't stop laughing at the mess they created. As the day came to a close, I realized that my mission was complete. I had found the funniest moment in history, right here in 2049. I was so grateful for the opportunity to experience all the laughter and joy that this time period had to offer. The next day, I decided to take a trip to the countryside to see what kind of humor could be found there. I was not disappointed. I came across a group of farmers who were having a contest to see who could make the silliest faces. The faces they were making were so absurd and hilarious that I couldn't help but laugh. One farmer had a face that looked like he had just eaten a lemon, and I was in stitches. I also stumbled upon a group of friends who were having a picnic. They were telling jokes and playing pranks on each other, and their laughter was contagious. One of the friends told a joke that went like this, why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. I was laughing so hard that I couldn't catch my breath. As I continued my journey, I came across a group of children who were playing a game of tag. They were running and laughing, and their energy was infectious. I couldn't help but join in on the fun. They even let me be it for a while, and I chased them around pretending to be a monster. We were all laughing so hard that our sides hurt. I also visited a local fair, where I saw all sorts of entertainment, from acrobat shows to puppet shows. Each performance was funnier than the last, and I was in stitches the entire time. I even saw a puppet show where all the characters were different types of fruit, and they were having a dance party. It was the most absurd thing I had ever seen, and I couldn't stop laughing. In the evening, I attended a talent show where people from all over the countryside had come to perform. There were singers, dancers, and even a few stand-up comedians. The talent was incredible, and the laughter was non-stop. 
One of the stand-up comedians told a joke that went like this, why did the math book look so sad? Because it had too many problems. I was laughing so hard that tears were streaming down my face. The next day, I visited a nearby lake where I saw people fishing and enjoying the beautiful scenery. I even saw a man trying to teach his dog how to swim, and the sight was so comical that I couldn't stop laughing. The man was splashing around in the water, trying to show the dog how to swim, but the dog just kept sinking like a rock. It was the funniest thing I had ever seen. As my journey came to an end, I realized that humor and laughter could be found in the most unexpected places. Whether it was in the city or the countryside, there was always something to make me smile and laugh. I was so grateful for my trip to 2049, and I will never forget all the laughter and joy that I experienced during my time there. Until we meet again, farewell, 